welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany bundles and welcome to our sunday chit chat q a video if you are new to this channel on sunday i read through any comments questions dms emails text messages and i typically choose one topic to go over and elaborate on so if you are interested be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video so you guys the question that i'm going to be answering today is how much should i spend on hair I do want to say this, you guys, I do speak with a lot of different people that are operating hair businesses, starting hair businesses, and people that even, you know, other people that don't even have hair businesses, they, they're just in business in general. You know, they may sell lashes or they may sell shirts or tennis shoes or whatever. And um, I get this question a lot, you know, I get, you know, how much do you recommend I spend on inventory? I wish this question was just a black and white answer. I wish it was just a simple answer that I could just tell everyone, you know, hey, spend this amount of money on inventory and it's going to work great for you. Because to answer the question, I'm going to have to ask you questions. And I'm going to have to figure out what's going to work best for you, your plan, your market, and, you know, based on your vendor, the, their prices and things like that. It's not just a, a simple answer that I can just give you. And so I'm making this video to kind of give you some tips on how you can decide what's going to work best for you, um, because it ultimately depends on your budget. And so the first tip that I would recommend you doing is make your business plan, you know, figure out exactly how you want this business to work. I feel like a lot of people, you know, and I, I'll, I'll admit too, when I first started my hair company, I was not organized. I did not really plan it out. I just wanted to do it. So I did it. And although that works well, you know, sometimes it also works good from my experience if you actually sit down and have a plan that you're operating off of. So if it means that you take maybe a, a lunch break, you know, while you're at work and just really get a pen and paper out and figure out exactly what your vision for your business is. Now, when I say your vision, I'm not just meaning pick out the colors that you want your um, business cards to be or pick out the color that you want on your website. I'm not just referring to that in total, but I'm actually um, referring to pick out, you know, what your company is going to be, you know, what are you going to offer? Who are you offering it to? And also the budget, you know, how much do you plan to spend for this hair company? Now, I'm not saying that you're going to stick completely to the budget because as we all know, you know, when you get to doing, uh, whether it's an event, you know, whether it's uh, shopping for your, your house or furniture, we all know that sometimes, you know, you, you go over budget. It's very easy to do. But I'm recommending that you have a budget so that you at least know, you have a guide. You kind of know exactly what you're looking at doing. So it makes it easier when you are going to different companies and when you are vendor searching, when you are vendor shopping to actually say, this is how much I'm planning on spending. What can you offer me? And then that, that can kind of help you make your, your, your decision. Now, I do want to say this too. I feel like a lot of people offer, you know, when they start their hair company, you're so excited, which is great. That's a great thing. But we're so excited that we just say, you know what, I want to offer everything. I'm going to have everything on my website. And although there's nothing wrong with that, you know, you can choose whatever you want to offer on your business. You have to keep in mind, especially if you're not drop shipping, if you are planning on purchasing all of your inventory, the more you offer, the more money you're going to come out of. So if you're offering lots and lots of textures, virgin and raw hair, you know, a variety of hair on your website, you have to realize that you're going to come out of pocket more than someone that's just offering two to three hair textures. So and not like, again, not saying there's anything wrong with that, but you have to be conscious that, you know, hey, if I offer all of this up front, this is how much I'm probably going to spend. Um, what you can do is you can go ahead and choose a few companies that you are interested in purchasing from. Um, if you guys are looking for a vendor, I do offer wholesale and drop shipping. So feel free to check out the links at the, um, in the description of this video. But you want to make sure that you find vendors and, you know, kind of compare prices and not just prices, but compare customer service. Figure out how you feel working with this vendor, because ultimately that's what it's going to be. You know, you're working with the same company. And so you're going to have to have a relationship with this company and you're going to have to have a relationship with the person that you're working with. So figure out how you feel. Do you feel comfortable? Does it seem like a company that you can do business with long time? You know, and then also what are they going to recommend? A lot of times when you go to companies, sometimes they'll have recommendations for you based on the amount that you can spend. So if someone comes to me and says, I can spend $800, I'm going to have to ask a few discovery questions to see exactly what your focus is and what type of textures you are wanting to offer to make sure that I give you something that's going to work for your business. 
but I, I should be able to come back and say, you know what, if this is what you're looking for, then this is what I would recommend. Not saying that you're going to go with it wholeheartedly, but I can give you somewhat of a recommendation. You know what I mean? So you wanna make sure that when you're vendor searching, you find someone, you find a company that you trust, not just a company that has great prices, not just a company that even has good quality, but you wanna make sure that they have that overall package, good quality, prices that you can afford, and not only that, but also great customer service. Um, another thing I wanna bring up is when you are starting your hair company, keep in mind that purchasing inventory you know, asking the question, how many bundles should I purchase? That's not the end of your journey. That, that's not the end of your, you know, your, your expense. And so you want to keep in mind that you're also, you're also going to need branding material. You're also going to want to advertise. You're also going to have a website fee. Um, you're also going to pay for your business phone if that's something that you decide to do. And so you want to make sure that you're keeping in mind, okay, this is what I have allotted for inventory so that I can purchase these things too. Because I get so often, especially during tax time, I'll have people that email me and say, I got $3,000 back on my taxes. I want to spend it all on hair. And that's great. You know, that's great that you want to do that. And that's great that you have the, the capital to do so. But keep in mind to budget for the other expenses that you are going to need in your business, because it's not just inventory that you're going to need. And not just that, but you also have to take into consideration that you may not sell the bundles as fast as you are anticipating. If you're someone that's like, you know what, I need this money back in like two months, or I need this money back in three months, then you want to kind of consider, should I be putting all of this money on inventory or should I look into other options? Now, some of the other options would be drop shipping. I know a lot of women love drop shipping and a lot of women don't. Uh, the women that don't love drop shipping, I've asked, you know, hey, what what makes you not want to do drop shipping? And a lot of women say, I want complete control of my business. You know, I want to be able to send out the hair. And that's great. And I'm not saying that you can't do that, but you also may want to look at alternatives in business and realize that there are stepping stones. So even if you're in a position where you're not able to buy all the inventory that you need to send out the hair to every one of your customers, you can still purchase what you can purchase and then do drop shipping on the side until you're able to purchase all the inventory that you need. You know what I mean? So you can always start someplace and say, you know what, this is not where I'm going to end, but this is more feasible for me to start. So guys, the overall message of this video is just to give you guys an idea of some of the questions that you can ask to kind of narrow down and figure out how much you're going to spend on your inventory. What is your budget? You know, you also have to take into consideration, do you have any finance options? Is your credit good? You know, are you able to get financing for the hair? And if you are, is this something that you want to finance? You know, are you receiving any um, like gifts from family members or friends? You know, sometimes when you go into business, some people are more apt to give you money to kind of get your business rolling and off the ground. And, you know, so that may be an option to just figuring out how much money you can get together to make this work. And then from there, we want to figure out, OK, this is how much I can afford for this. And this is how much I can afford for that. I never recommend anyone to go completely broke when starting their company. Um, I know some people have done that and it's turned out wonderful. Some people have done that and it's, it has not turned out wonderful. And so just based on my personal opinion, you can agree or not agree. I always recommend that you budget, that you plan for yourself and that you're making sure that you are moving smart financially. And so I would never say, just get your, put yourself in a position where you can't afford your rent next month or your mortgage or where you can't afford your car note because you're investing all of it into inventory. Although I do believe in investing in your dreams because I do it, you know, I opened a whole salon. I didn't get any gifts or, you know, donations or anything like that. So I'm definitely someone that, that uh, stands on supporting your dreams and following your dreams and investing in yourself and investing in your passion. But I'm also someone that's very realistic. And I'm also someone that says, you know what, if I can't afford this, I'm not going to put myself in a position where I'm um, chancing you know, my children's uh, comfortability or where I'm chancing my stability. You know what I mean? So we want to make sure that we're looking at the overall picture. The bottom line is just figure out what works best for you. Um, although someone else may be able to go ahead and spend $10,000 on inventory, doesn't mean that it's feasible for you at this time. Someone else may be able to go ahead and spend even $2,000 on inventory. And you may be saying, wow, like, that's not something I can do at this moment without me getting behind in bills, then don't do it. If it's something you can do, then do it. That's why I say the first step is to figure out what your plan is and how much you have allotted for each um, for each section of your business, for the advertising, for your branding material, for your inventory. 
And that's why I do strongly recommend drop shipping because I want women and men to be able to start their dreams. I want them to be able to start their business. I want them to be able to start becoming financially stable. But also I want to, I want to do it in a way where it's not putting anyone behind. And so there's nothing wrong with finding different alternatives. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I'm going to start off with three textures right now and then work my way up. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I'm going to build my credit and this is something that I want to finance a portion of and this is something I'm going to come out of pocket on. You know, and there's nothing wrong with asking for help. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, friends, family, I'm actually starting this business and I would appreciate it if you guys would give me what you can, you know, give me what you, you can toward my dreams. Instead of buying me a Christmas gift, I just really would prefer uh, some funds to invest in myself and in my dreams. So I really hope this answers your questions, you guys. I'm sorry that it's not a black and white answer. I wish that it was, but it just really is. It depends on you. It depends on your brand. It depends on your vision. It depends on your budget. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.